Back in 1995, I was working on a series of paintings for the Bradford Exchange depicting wolves under the northern lights. I desperately needed a process for creating beams of light quickly and that allowed me to orchestrate them in an infinite number of designs. I've used this approach many times over the years for creating flawless northern lights as well as mist and cloud effects in several different paintings. I've always considered this one of my most guarded secrets and was reluctant to share it because it was something that required so much time and effort to figure out. At the time, I didn't need a bunch of competitors in my local area doing the same thing. Anyway, those days are long gone and I'm more than happy to pass this on to you in these sessions. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be using my airbrush here to create my northern lights and my uh, sort of the twilight part of the sky here. And I've got some acrylic paint, some fluid acrylic. Just gonna put a little in my airbrush here. And uh, it's been a while since I used the airbrush here, so hopefully we don't have any, I think should be okay. I've done this a few times, but it's been a while. So, okay, I'm just gonna start by, we're using just a titanium white here. Get a little bit on my twilight area here. And just slowly feather that out skyward here. And keep it fairly bright towards the horizon line here. Just gradually work it up. Okay, I'm gonna put in my Northern Lights beams just behind the wolf here. So they're just kind of like shooting up here. And I want this to be really, really subtle. So I'm not gonna overdo it. But again, our base coat is titanium white here, so. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to keep this as random as possible. I don't want any hot spots here. But. So I'm going to go this way with it and then back a little bit. Starting to show up a little bit there. Okay, I think that's about as much as I want to go. I don't want this to be too punchy, so I'm just going to kind of soften this whole effect out a bit. Just creating a, a base for the colors that are going to follow that greeny hue we're going to put in here. Okay, now I'm going to spray a little bit of this uh, phthalo green here uh, just to kind of give the northern lights a bit of that greeny hue. Uh, again, I'm not going to overdo it here, but I'll start laying that in. 
very, very subtly. This is going right on top of the white. And it's just to, the white was just to give it a base so that it just shows up better. If you sprayed this green right on top, that, that blue I had, it wouldn't show up. Okay, I think that's about as far as I want to go with that. A little bit more up here. Leave my corner dark. Okay, now I'm gonna spray a little bit of this yellow oxide just on my horizon line here, just to warm that up a little bit. And I'm gonna be painting in a bunch of sort of low lying clouds here and stuff on top of this, but I, so I don't want this to have a ton of punch. It's just to have a little bit of a, of that warm tone. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Okay, here's another little technique I'm gonna use here. Uh, this has uh, been in my liquid titanium white. I'm just uh, scrubbing it on with a, getting it on with a toothbrush. And this is to create the indication of stars. And you gotta be careful with this. Again, I just wanna, I'm just gonna test this out on something. Make sure it's just, yeah, that'll work. So I'm just gonna spatter a few stars. You can so overdo this in a hurry. Yeah, some of the ones that turned out really bright here, I'm just gonna put little halos around. So that should be enough now. I didn't want to overdo this. Just want to give it a feeling that night is falling. And um, I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this. So a few little touch-ups. I felt a little, a little hot on the green. A few little beams. Oftentimes I'll be painting a bunch of spruce trees or something to kind of like as a backdrop for something like this or a hill, but here I'm using the northern lights, so I just thought I'd mix it up a bit. I mixed up a little bit of uh, Alzarin Crimson here. And they call this, I don't know, diarylide yellow. I don't know, it looked like a cadmium yellow to me. But anyway, I mixed those two colors together just to create a little bit more of that on the bottom edge here. So I'm gonna spray some of that on there right now. But this is a really potent color, so I'm gonna be really careful here. Just felt it needed a little bit more on the horizon line there. It's 
This is one of those times where you got to know when to quit too, but um, I think, I think I'm there. Okay, yeah, I, I'm done. It's just gonna, I don't want the northern lights or, I don't want the northern lights or anything in the background to start jumping forward and taking over the, the whole scene here because this is, it's all about the wolf here and the solitude and it's just a, as a backdrop and a feeling to the whole thing. And I think I've accomplished that here. So we will uh, carry on.